we were irrigating with high ditches and tubes and we went to underground piping and gated pipe. Uh, we're probably saving about 50% of our water. I guess my philosophy is just keep the water moving off of one field somewhere else. Use every uh, amount of water we can. Mm -hmm. I like to wait until the temperature in the soil is around 50 degrees. Uh, but I'll usually start it just as soon as I get water in the ditch. Usually it's the tail end of March, 1st of April. I'll go through to October, the tail end of October usually. Uh, I guess the secret here is I measure all the water coming from the main head gates, either with partial flumes or V-notch weirs. I also keep track of the water going out of the system. In the spring of the year, uh, I go through, I clean all the uh, alfalfa valves, uh, and actually, that part of it is not bad. The other thing I do is mark the fields. And I'll usually try to pull all the pipes apart uh, between each watering. But as far as the system now, the spring thing is maintenance is zero. Replace a few gates, maybe a few gaskets. Uh, usually flush pipes after every irrigation. Uh, try to keep up with that alfalfa valves and make sure they're in good shape. Replace a few gates, uh, but usually gate replacement, you're running a full head of water and you get pretty wet <laughs> because you're not gonna shut the system down. You, once you get a full pipe, you just wanna keep it full. And that's about it, make sure you're spreading your water. Well, in the fall, like right now, I'm building profile. That's my key thing. And as soon as I get across it now, I'll start pulling in caps, flushing pipes, uh, cleaning things up. I'm doing a lot of mowing now. Uh, and then I'll, I'll have the, a lot of the pipes will be pulled apart and ready for spring. Uh, with cows in there, I'm going to probably pull pipes and stockpile them. And then in the spring, I'll, after marking, why well, then I'll... Uh, I'll uh, put them together and get water running. To manage irrigation when we get ready to harvest is complicated because the dairy that I sell the hay to has hundreds of acres all over this valley and you've got to have your hay ready when they're ready to come in. And they don't fool around. Uh, they'll come in with three 18-foot head swathers. Uh, they come in with one-ton balers. They come in with semis, and within five days you're back with water on your fields. So uh, that's what I have to prepare for. And I've got to make sure my pipes are drained at that point in time so there isn't any leakage on the fields. Because so, the equipment is heavy, and uh, you, just, you just can't fool around dumping one of those big balers over or something in a swamp. <laughs>